Hello everybody, DJ Toucans here, welcoming you to the Mario Sunshine vs. Soundtrack. Today we're featuring an artist who has been selling millions of singles, Josh W. Jepsen. <laughs> he has songs in the charts such as, Plastic Surgery is a Lie for Me. I just got a boob job and it was botched. And he has hot new singles like... Titties and tequila. Why are all my songs about boobs? I don't know. I'm gonna get drunk. <laughs> and, he has this, and he has this hot new single that is trying to take a switch on things, and it's called <laughs> Ash Cheeks in Argentina. Bounce, bounce, jiggle, bounce, jiggle, bounce, bounce. In Argentina, baby. Argentina. <laughs> I feel like that'd be like a Pitbull song because it's in some random like Spanish country. <laughs> Pitbull's the type of person who travels and he just has to let everybody knows that he travels. Like, look where I just went. You don't care? Well, I'm going to sing about it in a song that you have to listen to on the radio. I went to Argentina. Now I'm going to sing about their booties. <laughs> Mr. Worldwide. It's true. My name is Josh Jepson. But you knew that already because he just sang like 10 songs for you. It's true. But what's your name? Oh, oh my name is Jesse Cox. <laughs> Cox. Okay. Well, close enough. <laughs> God, if I was a DJ, I would be so badass. You would be the best DJ this side of the railroad tracks? <laughs> no, the subway. Josh, we live in 2015. <laughs> the subway does have railroad tracks. It is a oh. railroad. It's well, rails. It's, it's and the it's underground. Rails. It's pretty much the underground railroad, full of black people. Uh, that's what the under. That's what it was. That's I know. What it was. I'm, I'm. I'm fully aware of American history. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> Don't judge me. Just love me. It's it. No, I failed world history, not American. American history had aced because it's the same throughout the entire. Have you ever noticed that? American history has always been. <laughs> I was just about to say something really stupid. I was going to say, American history has always been the same. But, you did say that. But no. What you they, literally said that. You were like, <laughs> I meant history though, is easy because it's always been the same. I meant, hang on. What I meant, though. <laughs> okay. We're going to listen to your intent. What was your intent on this situation? My intent uh, was... <laughs> I don't even remember anybody. Oh, what they teach you. Your intent you. was well, you were going camping. No, no, no. What they teach you about American history is the same all the way up through. I learned the same four things about American history every single year of school. I mean, the difference is American history is like 200 years of one country. World it's history true. is like... Well, like no, but, but I mean, how can, how how can the there not world? be something different? Like, we learn about the Civil War, World War II, World War One, and like, that's it. And yeah, then, they should make up some more wars for us to Well, learn. no, well, why, do we, why are we only learning about wars? Why don't we learn about something, like, nice and not... <laughs> you're like, we how learned about, about how inventions. About, We've learned about Benjamin Franklin. Yeah, no, yeah. We've but, learned about Thomas Edison. Yeah, 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 yeah. Those are great. You know, the invention of the light bulb and, and that's everything. That's great. But what about, like... The manufacturer history of the yeah, United like States. who the fuck because invented waffles and who thought putting blueberries and pancakes was a good idea? Because <laughs> they pretty much revolutionized my world. Oh, God. you know they do make like you no, know, you know, you know what a fleshlight is, right? I'm fully aware. Yes. Okay, for the viewers who don't know what a fleshlight is, it's pretty much like a hollow flashlight oh that has like a thing you can stick your dick into <laughs> and stuff. Oh, God. And they'll like model it You know, it there's off Google. Of, like, Google exists. You can find out what that is. <laughs> but we're like the interactive Google. We <laughs> interactive just tell Google? you what's up. Okay. So anyways, what they can do is like lots of porn stars will actually have like their own fleshlight their modeled off of, of their fleshlight. own assholes and vaginas and stuff. <laughs> and so I was thinking about it, oh and I think Christ. Versus needs to start its own fleshlight line. Versus definitely does not need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, didn't we I already mean, discuss this? I feel like we've discussed selling no, fleshlights before in the past. has never happened. Are you sure? I am sure as a whore. And it will continue to never happen. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! God damn it. <laughs> You're ruining all oh. of my plans. Uh, you know what? I'll just do this. I, I was going to do one thing, but I'm deciding to do something else instead. Okay. Is that okay? That can, I, can, I, can, can I be doing of the something else? Multitasking? Yeah. Multi can, I, can I sell? <laughs> can I sell flashlights and also play Mario Sunshine at the same time? Let's find out. I'm not sure. 
One thing I want to discuss real fast is last episode, well, actually this happened two episodes ago, <laughs> but it still needs to be discussed. So I used the level lever on you at the very, very beginning of Noki Bay, like within the first 15 seconds. I asked you if you wanted it back. Well, during the video, I said that we aren't going to actually count it, but we'll discuss this on video so we can like reach a decision on video so the audience can be happy. Should I have that lifeline gone or should I be able to keep it? You said, I mean, you said that you, I asked you. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when I said it's okay is I thought you were at least like, like two minutes into a mission, not like just pressing the start button. <laughs> yeah, you can have it back. Fucking idiot. Okay. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Next time I I'll ask do, you. I'll do you a favor sometime. Next. Oh, like right you? now. Can I use a level lever? Will that work? No. Oh. I'm doing, I'm doing uh, hundred coins. So no, you cannot. Okay, <laughs> I guess I guess since you just gave me a back, I won't use it just now. Thank you. Don't I'll be and don't courteous. do it when I have ninety nine coins. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! This is like chain shot pinball. That and also it's a rule. We can't do it during the hundred coins. I'm pretty sure we talked oh, about that. I think that's a rule as well. Yeah. Oh we, shit! We talked. Get about away, this. doggy. Neil. Do doggy. Neil. Dog eat dog. World. Do you know what's? <gasps> I used to love that show. Dog eats dog. That game show. Oh, that was. Yeah, it was all right, I guess. Uh, now that I'm that thinking about it, that was my shit. I'm like, I'm like, I was thinking about it. I'm like, it was probably terrible. It did get canceled quite quick, <laughs> but uh, no, it wasn't that bad. I mean, it was, it wasn't as good as like Family Feud or anything. Family Feud. Survey says, what the fuck? I used to play that on Facebook so often. There was like a Facebook game of it. Yo, oh, yeah, been and there, it was done just that. So much fun. I've played it before. I think we actually kind of played it together because you have to like send like requests to your friends to like finish your. I mean, if for that's you. what you want to call playing together, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I send you a request and you click on a little button and play the game. <laughs> okay, so that brings me up to like the topic of, of free to play games. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, Weird so you know, segue, like this, but yeah, okay. <laughs> I mean, because free to play games often do that thing. Like, if you want to play more, then you have to send like you have to either wait like six hours or send like. A Facebook friend request to your friends, asking them to play as well. <laughs> a friend request? Yeah, you like send them a game request to like play oh. the game with you. Pretty right, much. right, gotcha. You, okay. And so lots of games also they have like premium content you have to pay like real life money for. You know, stupid. But yes. So I'm one of those retarded people <laughs> who actually spends money on that shit. Why? Why would you ever? I don't think I've ever spent money on a free to play game. That, that's not true. I have, but not much. Yeah. I could, okay, kind of, my justification is if I play a free-to-play game, like, a lot, a lot, I'm okay with spending a little bit of money on it. Like, kind of like, i say $10, $20 is usually, like, like, kind of justifiable if you play it a lot. Yeah. No, I mean, I would never spend, look, here's my rule for it. I would never spend six, I would never spend more than $60 on, on a free-to-play game. Because there's no game out there that I can go get that's 60 bucks that's, like, going to get me more content than that. You know what I mean? Unless it was, like, World of Warcraft, where there was, like, a monthly subscription. Oh, yeah. Monthly subscription games are a little bit different. Yeah. But there is a free-to-play game called The Simpsons Tapped Out, where <laughs> you pretty much rebuild the Simpsons city of Springfield. Uh-huh. And I have spent almost $200 in that game. Ha! What?! Over the course of about nine months, though, I play it on a daily basis, and I've played it for about nine months. But two hundred dollars. So does this justify two hundred dollars no, spent on it? Never. But this really, really stupid thing about it is I spent two hundred dollars because there's like lots of buildings and characters you can't get oh, unless you pay real life money. Okay. And I'd be okay if they were like two dollars, three dollars oh, a shit. piece. Whatever. But they're about twenty dollars a piece, and there's about a hundred of them. So if you want to get everything in the game. Which I've pretty much stopped at this point because I've spent too much money over on it over the years or over the months. Yeah. But I have to spend like an easy two thousand dollars to get everything. That yeah. That's just I'm greedy as shit. I'm sure they don't expect you to get everything. But I'm a completionist, <laughs> and I want to get everything. Well, then you're playing the wrong game, buddy. <laughs> right. And I I read an article that says like a study about that type of thing. Is people who like spend money on like free to play games are usually like depressed and are like looking for like something Tyler, in their life. Are you depressed? Like, if, I mean, I was for a little bit. I'm not depressed anymore. Uh, and and your addiction started then, I'm sure. I know it started a bit beforehand, but it kind of got 
a little bit more <laughs> strong during that moment in time. Why were you depressed? Uh, yeah, relationship type stuff that I really never talk about during videos. Oh Wait, my. I fucking beat you, you whore! <laughs> <laughs> what? You were okay. It's okay, Tyler. Calm down. Fucking Piantissimo, I reached the flag before he did, and then I was like, I'm gonna go get this blue coin real fast. Which and then I came back, and he was like, I beat you! Which Piantissimo Dude. race are you doing? I did the one in Pianta Village. I just started this level today. <laughs> okay. Because pretty much all I can do in the other levels is I think I have like 200 coin missions left and blue coins. Which, after this episode, I am determined to like go and find out all the blue coins I need to get and start getting caught up on those. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I totally agree on that. I'm going to start with Rico Harbor. Actually, I'm going to get a bunch of them. Not all of them, because I'm not sure where a few of them are, but I know where most of them are. They're kind of obvious. I just didn't ever collect them for some reason. Yeah. Um, also, just for the heck of it, I'm going to give you a bipolar controller. What? Why? <laughs> Flip that controller upside down, motherfucker. Oh, no. Oh. Just to kind of make your life a bit more complicated, like Avril Lavigne. That's all right. It's not so bad. It just it just sucks because this is like the worst level to use that on. <laughs> what level are you playing? Rico Harbor. Oh, that is a bad level. So I am happy with my decision. Uh, I'm not. Oh God. Fuck. Fuck. You in the bot. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm, I can't really shoot water. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm having a hard time here. That's all right. Well, maybe you should. Yeah, wait, I just, I'm testing that out. If you use your pinky, use your left pinky to shoot water. No, I, that's not gonna help me at all. I, how, somehow did I open up the menu? What? <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's scandal. It's a scandal. I have 69 shines. <laughs> uh, it's a, that's a scandal, all right. Fuck you, by the way. <laughs> Remember when I was like, 10 times more mature than I am now? No. Like, two years ago. <laughs> you were okay, mature. That's, that's, that's a that's a stretch. No, did I say more mature? I meant to say more immature. Oh, yeah. When I when I had part sixty nine of Majora's Mask and I made it like the most inappropriate episode of anything I possibly could have done. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, good times. But you pretty much that's kind of your thing though. You make everything. You make my life immature. I mean, I after talking to me so much. I have made you a bit more immature. Than you me, have. You've you ruined me. To me. <laughs> Proud of myself. Patting myself on the back. No, patting myself on the dick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why would you? You got to make everything immature. <laughs> you really don't. I do. I, I'm i going to touch your. No, I can't even. I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> even when I try to want to be immature. I don't know if you noticed this on, on the verses, but when I try to be immature, it sounds weird. Well, it's because you're not as sure as I am. <laughs> we talked already, about this. We've already determined this in episode one. Yeah, you are a chair. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. There's uh, an animation about it. Oh, it's true. There is an animation about it, actually. <laughs> <laughs> also, I just went to Pack South. Did you now? Yeah, How was Pack actually, South, Tyler? Ooh, it was a doozy. So <laughs> you're also going to be going to PAX East in like a couple weeks. So <laughs> yeah, I want to talk about PAX for a second because I've never. Oh shit! I just fucked myself. Okay, wrong location. Yeah, don't fuck yourself in the I'm wrong sorry. location. <laughs> Can I turn it upside right yet? No, that was a stupid question. Shut up. <laughs> but the thing about PAX. Oh god, did oh, come I, on I really fucked myself, didn't I? Come on yep. now. I can't. I've... I'm trying to get up top there, but I can't because my controller is upside down. <laughs> Go! Oh my god, this is difficult. There we go. Okay, be careful. Did you do it? I somehow did it. Whoa! I have no idea. I'm just being careful so I don't fall off of this scaffolding. Josh, and you actually, did a and fantastic job. I haven't done the 100 coins yet, but I have I've, I've gotten to a place, a high place. I'm so high right now. <laughs> you don't even know. Because you have switched your addiction to cocaine, which is understandable because I'm pretty sure gratuitous amounts of cocaine is required to be friends with me. Oh, my God. Yeah, <laughs> Great. yeah no, really. I, I have to have so much drugs on my system to be able to put up with your stupid ass. <sighs> I actually found out recently that Donna, like, 
pretty much had to get drunk like before half of the recordings of Mario <laughs> Galaxy Versus <laughs> to be able to deal with my oh shenanigans. Oh my god! Okay, not drunk, but she would have she like, had two to beers, abuse just... alcohol in order to put up with you. That is so fantastic. That is like two beers, just like tipsy, just to kind of oh my god, herself loosey goosey. Can I turn you know? it upside right yet? Oh shit! I never looked at the timer. Oh yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I, I looked at it. It was like eleven minutes. Okay. About then when yes, I did it. you can. Yay! Anyways, okay. back to the conversation as packs. Lots of people assume that I'm like really extroverted, mm -hmm. which in a way I am. But for some reason, when I'm <laughs> around strangers or people I don't know very well, I just get I really freak out. I don't think it shows like in my personality, but in the inside of my brain, I'm having like a meltdown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. You seem pretty outgoing to me. It's just I hate small talk. And whenever I meet like a viewer or something, that's all it is. And I try to be like super excited. I try to like get to know them a bit, ask them about themselves, ask them how their day is going. So I don't seem I try not to show how like deathly afraid I am in the situation. Yeah, like, it, it's it's tough, especially at PAX and like. It, here's I here's I want to throw out a tip to you guys who who will probably see us at PAX. If you come up to us and you want to talk give to us, give us a tip. Give us like, like a twenty dollar bill. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Hang on, don't give the. <laughs> yes, give us money, but also. <laughs> <laughs> Not really though. No, please don't give us money. We won't take your money. Well, <laughs> I don't know. If you hand me a twenty dollar bill, you're like, hey, here's some money, Josh. I might take it. Got to pay for um, that cocaine somehow. Uh, don't do that. No, really. You know, if you come up to us and you want to talk to us. Have something kind of in mind to talk about. It doesn't matter what it is. We'll talk about just about anything. Because one of the things that I notice people do a lot is they'll come up and they want to talk to us. And so they'll say, hey, I like your videos. And the conversation kind of stops there. Yeah, I would guess. And like, okay, I'm glad that you like my videos. And then that kind of just, it ends up being hard for both of us to have a conversation. Yeah, my problem is kind of like, I don't want to assume how much somebody watches me either. Like, I don't want to assume like, the viewer is has seen like a lot of my videos like they've seen like maybe like 10 videos and they're like know of me so they're just saying hi because they know of me it's either that or like they've seen like every one of my videos like i don't know like how much i should assume and just be like so yeah maybe, maybe i way overthink the whole situation you definitely well yeah no you're definitely overthinking it i think there's there's it's not that complicated um yeah. but i will say that it is not easy it, like small talk in, in and of itself is not easy no, for me, it's definitely. I stress out, like, no matter who it is. Like, I, I elevators have, I, are I my actually, worst fucking nightmare. Uh, pff, they're elevators, there's rules. There's small talk elevators and rules. Uh, small talk rules in elevators. Um, it depends on, like, okay. Usually, you're supposed to go into an elevator and be silent. Uh-huh. And that's it. Or talk to your friends. If you're a random stranger in an elevator and you see some random strangers come in, don't talk to them. That's the rule. If Why you, is that a rule? It, because nobody wants to talk to each other in an elevator. It's well, awkward. That's just, that's just kind of rude, though. Like, why can't people? Because it's just a fucking elevator. Who can't? You don't need to talk to each other in a fucking elevator. Unless there's something visibly apparent to talk about. I guess, yeah. But then, like, they get off at a certain floor, and it's like Ooh, two I seconds. Love it when they get off. No, no, no. It's like two. Se listen to me. It's like two seconds, and they get off the elevator, and then it's like really weirdly awkward when he's like, "Do you say goodbye? Do you, how do you end the conversation?" Especially. If you Bye. Nice talking to you for three seconds. Yeah, especially if you ta actually end up starting a conversation. Like, say you're going more than a couple floors, and you're going quite a ways. Glad I'm getting to see you get off. <laughs> but, god damn it. But then what? <laughs> but then what happens when you you, like, get off at the same floor? This happened to me once, and it was the most awkward thing ever. Well, then you got to talk about more. Well, you got to keep talking until. Or <laughs> what's also awkward is when you say goodbye to somebody, and then you like continue walking the, in the same direction. Oh, I hate that! Oh my then god! When you, then when you part again, do you so, say goodbye again? Here's the thing: I, because I've been to so many conventions and like I've interacted with people in that same exact way so many times, I figured out a, my own set of rules, I guess, for for for, the, for that. So there was this one time. Where that exact thing happened with a with a guy, uh, with a fan of of mine who wanted to sit next to me in the Rooster Teeth panel, yeah, and uh, that was fine. I was like, yeah, go for it. Let's let's hang out and watch the Rooster Teeth panel. It was awesome. Um, and <laughs> after the fact, we started walking in the same direction, and I just straight up told him like, okay, here's the thing, we're both going in the same direction. 
I'm just going to turn around and go the other way. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> couldn't a good idea. Make it, make it less awkward for the both of us. Yeah, that's true. So, do you know who um, Jesse Cox and Crendor are? I've met Jesse Cox on a number of occasions. I've never met Crendor, but yes, I, I know of them. Okay, so, like, Polaris, which is the network Josh and I are a part of, they have, like, people like that are in charge of, like, the business side of things. Um, there's one guy who's ahead of all of it. I believe his name is David. Yep. And, like, last year I got to, like, know, I got to talk to him for probably, like, an hour or so because he was helping me set up, like, a versus tournament thing mm -hmm. that I think we mentioned once that kind of it didn't work out because of technical difficulties, my computer crashing and stuff. Um, so at PAX South, there was, like, a Polaris lounge or whatever, and I was, like, kind of hanging out, and I thought I saw David. And... <laughs> Uh, this is, was it this not like David? Shows, it was actually Wow Crendor. <laughs> Does Crendor look like David? Yes, they look very similar. They have like a small body frame, like kind of like shaggyish hair. Like, have you seen the Scooby Doo movie with real life people? Yeah, <laughs> kind of like Shaggy's hair in a way. <laughs> okay. And so I totally thought it was, and then I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> awkward. Nice to meet you, because <laughs> I knew who he was, and I wasn't expecting it to be him. So I was like. Uh, and so I, I try to make awkward conversation with him. I'm not sure how well it works, but I asked him, I'm like, I told him like straight up, I'm like, I've heard of you, but I've never actually seen your videos before. And he does like World of Warcraft stuff. So that's why. Yeah. And I told him, I'm like, I'm going to watch your videos now. So like next time I see you, I can kind of like, kind of have a better idea of who you are. And so me being a stupid ass, I'm like, so if I were to play a drinking game to your videos, <laughs> what is something you say a lot? That would be a good reason for me to drink. <laughs> and he didn't have a good answer. So I can't watch your videos awkward. unless I drink. No, I mean, that's a fun thing to do, like, watch a YouTuber and, like, have a drinking age. But I think it might have, like, been, might have put off put him a bit, maybe. Maybe he didn't understand. Oh, no. That's awkward. It was awkward. I'm an awkward person, though. Like, that's why... <laughs> Dude, okay. That's why I don't he, like talking here, to people. Here's I don't what we'll know. do at PAX East. You and me, we'll hang out. We'll be together. I'll do the talking. <laughs> you know, in the movies when they're like, "Let me do the talking." I'm that guy. <laughs> like 22 Jump Street. Yes. <laughs> my name's Jeff. <laughs> Perfect example, maybe. Perfect. Example. Oh my God, cat, get off my fucking desk! You're gonna fucking mess up my recording. Whew. Please mess up his recording. That would be great. That would be awful because we have to restart. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Actually, no. Don't mess up his recording. Please don't. <laughs> Please and thank yous. Although I could re I could restart. I'm doing really bad right now. I'm trying to... I need Yoshi for a couple blue coins in this level, and I'm trying to get the stupid fruit to come out. And it's just a pain in Wow, mind. that was a slander right there. Stupid fruit. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> no, wow, just because he's gay doesn't mean to call him a stupid fruit. <laughs> come on. I mean. Come on. <laughs> Don't don't get paint. back here, Chain Chomp! Why are you riding so far away? Get the fuck back here! Don't paint I me. I hate dogs. Why can't you be a cat chomp? <laughs> okay, <laughs> it's not called a dog chomp, first of all. So <laughs> cat chomp makes no sense. That's, um, that's true. <laughs> let me see. Where else did you go wrong here? <laughs> <laughs> Just list off probably a lot of different directions in a lot of different ways. Um, yeah. So anyway, oh, man, blue coins are a pain in my fucking ass. Can I just tell you tell you that right now? Uh, they're a pain in everyone's fucking ass fucking ass. Why do you walk so far away every time you heat up? Jesus. W Christ. <laughs> What's his middle name? Um. Wilbert. Walrus. <laughs> Jesus Walrus Christ. <laughs> That's like we're calling Jesus fat. <laughs> Jesus ain't fat. Well, he might have been. You don't know. I doubt he was. He walked around a lot. Oh, that's and he true. Ate, and he ate, like, bread and fish. I mean, fish is good for you. And then he went 40 it. days and 40 nights without any water and food, so. Yeah, I'm sure he lost, like, a good 20 pounds. He probably, I mean, what if he actually did that because he just was putting oh, on a yeah. few pounds and he was like, That was his diet. Lose this. That was his yeah. diet. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Well, gotcha. can, can I go on the, I'm going to go on the Jesus diet. I've gained a little weight in 40 days and 40 nights with no food or water. I mean, that's called fasting. Yeah, but... In a way. I so, think. do they call it fasting because they do it really fast? <laughs> I mean, it lasts. Or that's. Yeah, there's that. Then there's also giving things up for Lint. If you had to oh, give come something on, up for Lint, stupid. what would you give up? You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, says Beetle from Wind Waker. Fuck you, you stupid fruit. <laughs> Stop being so mean to them, Josh. <laughs> Look. 
I've gotten the fucking durian twice now, and, and, okay, I don't know how to make it so he kicks it regularly, you know what I mean? Yeah. Instead of so far, because sometimes he just kicks it like a soccer ball and, like, dribbles it. And then other times, he wails it like a fucking football. Here, when you make sports references, it's kind of weird. Should I not make sports references? <laughs> you mean a soccer ball? No, 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 like a football, American football. Okay. I hate, I hate why, I don't understand why American football is called football. I mean, I think, I think because soccer should it. be called, I think soccer <laughs> should be called soccer everywhere. I don't think it should be called football in other places because soccer just sounds cooler. But yeah, I don't think no, football should that. be called football either. No, football, that's a dumb name for football. Like, it just sounds really uninspired. <laughs> so does Australian it be called, rules football. should be called melon ball. Why? It has nothing to do with melons. I guess, no. What's a, what's, what's a football shaped like? What's something else that's shaped like a football? No, <laughs> that that my friend is a good question. <laughs> I was gonna think like Hey Arnold's head, like Hey Arnold ball. Well, Hey Arnold's they, head they modeled is... his head off of a football. Yeah. Football head. Oh, don't do this. No, I di I didn't mean to do that. I didn't. Why did I do this? Why? I, that was the dumbest thing because I needed Yoshi still. Why did I kill him? Poor Yoshi. I'm so sorry. Cause you're a murderer. I am a murderer. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I don't want to be a murderer anymore, guys. Okay, I'm not having any luck with these blue coins. I'm going to give up on blue coins for now because it's taking me so fucking long. And I How only have four have minutes. How many have you got this episode? Uh, not, not enough. Like six, maybe? How many shines have you got this episode? Like three. Have you at, lost, at least gotten the 100 coin shine? Yeah. Okay, well, that's good. So you've gotten some stuff. Yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> Whenever I'm recording this, I don't even think about the game. That's how we make such stupid mistakes sometimes. It's like... I don't think about the game that much when playing it. Yeah, I should probably think about the game more often. Yeah, I mean, it is the thing that this verse is revolves around. Okay, I need, I need, I need a different nozzle. <laughs> no! <laughs> what if penises had different nozzles like Flood does? That would actually be kind of cool. Like if you wanted the rocket nozzle because you want to send her flying, then. <laughs> Well, what if you, <laughs> what if you accidentally put on the rocket nozzle when you're going, pee? Ooh, that would just you have be a big mess to clean. <laughs> you know my freaking like the thing I hate the most <laughs> is when like sometimes every once in a while you'll go pee and for some reason you'll have like two pee streams, and like it's usually in the morning when you don't like push like hard enough I guess, and so there's like two no, pee that's... streams and like one goes like off to the other direction so you have to push harder to like cons consolidate them. So this happens. In a number of situations. This can happen in two different situations. One, in the morning, when you have morning wood. That's part of it. And two, after sex. Oh. Well, I would never know about that <laughs> one, so. <laughs> because you're a virgin, right? Yeah. <laughs> of course I am, children. <laughs> Me too. Children. <laughs> Um, Do we really have children watching our videos? Are you yeah, a child? Think, if think, you're a child, think, comment we always below. like we always say our viewers are really young, but we actually whenever we say that people get really pissed off because I'm pretty sure all of our viewers are actually a decent age. Yeah, they better be. If your um, morning wood was like a certain like type of wood, what would it be? So that would be cedar wood, since my name is Cedar Wall. <laughs> what kind would, of wood would you have? Joshua. <laughs> Joshua trees, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> That works so well. I never even thought of Joshua trees. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> okay, don't call my morning wood adorable. That's weird. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> my BJ. Uh. Uh. Get what? it? My bad, Josh. <laughs> my uh, BJ. No, that. No, that. No, that doesn't make it. No, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, it does. I, it does a little bit, I guess. Like my bad, Josh. Uh -huh. My bad. Yeah. My B J. Don't don't think about it too hard. <laughs> Get it? Hard? <laughs> okay. Did, did, well, I, did I take it too far? It's probably kind of fortunate that this episode's almost over because... Because it's devolving into <laughs> crap. <laughs> it's all de it's devolving into penis jokes. <laughs> oh, that's right. I guess it is a little bit. That's unfortunate. Also, quick thing before this episode ends. We got to remind you guys. We now have team shirts, two clan shirts, and Jep Squad shirts. Yeah, the, 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 yeah, the T in t-shirt stands for team. 
Yeah, and it's actually pretty awesome. We'll have a link down in the description if you guys want to go buy them and support us with some team shirts. And also, here's some pictures of people who have sent us pictures wearing our shirts. Yeah, you can send, so send, awesome. send, send, some, send some of those to, to me on, 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 on the Twitters as well. Yes, and we'll, we might, if we see them, we'll put them on a Versus video, and you'll get to see yourself on a Versus video. Yeah, it'll be good times. Heck yes. We're not, Anyways, we can't end you. the We can't end the episode yet. Why? Because reasons. I have I have really good reasons as to why we can't, and I will tell you them in just a minute. Let me just do a, a thing. Whole, a whole minute? I don't have anything else to do. I just, I, I need just like two seconds. And by two seconds, I mean like 30 seconds. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Jesus Walrus Christ! <laughs> do something! You can't me out this long. Okay, well... Do it, Blue while, Coin! While you're getting that, you have to at least like sing us some more songs from your next album. I love boobies like, and titties and butts and stuff. What's that song called? It's Forgot. called Boobies and Titties and Butts and Stuff. Oh, okay. My favorite song on the album, really. It's what, about your, what about your song that's all about the Joshua Wood? All about the... Uh, all about that Joshua Wood. About that Joshua Wood. <laughs> Was that supposed to be a Megan Trainer parody? Yep. <laughs> didn't really work out. No, not really. Because you didn't really sing it. You kind of just said it. I, uh, th I'm rapping. It's a rap. Oh, well, we need to be wrapping this video up. What's taking you so long? I'm collecting a shine. There we go. Okay, we're good. We can end it now. <laughs> Thank Christ. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means a lot to us. And we'll see you next episode. We'll pee you next episode. Hopefully, you won't come out in two separate streams, though. That's kind of gross. Ugh. And we'll have to clean you up off the bathroom floor, and it'll, it'll just be a mess.